Pro. Yes, and welcome to another fine Saturday at RealLibertyMedia.com. Today, for your listening pleasure, we have Mr. Flash Somebody and his co-host right here. That's me, Mr. Vin E. P. G. Parental guidance is <laughs> suggested. <laughs> Hello. Well, how was that? That was a lot different that than that, that raging. Better. Yes. That oh, that was funny. Air. Yeah, we were <laughs> clowning around before the before the live performance for your listening yeah. entertainment. Anyway, so we had uh had have to say thanks to Grim. He bailed us again. Had a little headphone issue with Vinny's headphone set. Anyway, we're at the Dork Table on Saturday, the fourteenth of uh, December, two zero. One and nine. And I'm going to say hi to the bots and the bodies. Or are you going to do it? No, you do it. Ah, you're backing on the bots Cakes! and the bodies. Woo-hoo! We got cake. Yeah, but he's always late. Late to the... No, no right but on. I haven't started yet. Hey, cakes. <laughs> and we got Barman Beetle, Grimner, Kate, Anti-Asmo, Chelps, Sidney, Echelon, Java Doctor 2, Jet Dread, Meisterbrow, Poopster, Prince, Rob Works, Romes, Vanna White, Vinny PG, Weather Dork, Phantom, CC66, Chaskira, Hello Honey, Circle, Cyborg Noodle, D Dork Cakes. So Don't tell me what to do. You call it Chaskira, I can. No, oh, that's you my wife, you bad dork. Chascota is not your wife. Circle's your wife. Yeah. You're confused. No, you're confused. Oh, yeah. one of us is you're, confused. Wow, aren't you rowdy tonight? We're going to have a fucking show. You keep talking to me like this, boy. <laughs> Don't make me come across this here table and slap a little ugly off uh, your face. Anyway. You're going to have to slap real I hard. <laughs> oh, no, not just a love tap. <laughs> Give you another scar. Give anyway. Love tap, hey, is it is it true that if we took a pen and connected all your scars on your face, we could make a perfect picture of the Astrodome? Or is that just a rumor? Right. Anyway, we <laughs> E-Man. It is M- true, too. but it is just a rumor. <laughs> Me. Frumpy, Frumpy Work, Gromit, Jay's Nines, Jay's Moose Girl, Ponder, and she had a birthday yesterday. So hey, she's birthday. Probably, she's probably not here. <laughs> she sent me a message. Uh, I got a song from Moose Girl. Ponder yeah. Gander, Pone Sauce, Sock Puppet, SJF, Smataz, The Holiest Something, and Zip is the lineup for your typing extravaganza this week at the Dork Table. And for just an additional nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Let's see what song it is. Hey, isn't oh. it isn't it wonderful? You can just feel free to tweet the president anytime you like on the internet. Ah, uh, that's what I hear. You know, have have, have you ever echo. done it? Have, hey. I, have, no, no have echo. I ever done it? Yeah, have, have you? Have, have, again. have you, what? Tweeted tw- Trump? Yeah. Oh. Why not? No. Why not? Because I have as much interest in him as I do your uh, one little autistic friend. <laughs> but don't you want to talk to the guy and give him a chance to prove he's not a lying thief like I think he is? Listen, here's our, uh, Blake Shelton. I think he's uh, one of them judges on Dancing with the Stars or something like that. Okay. And What's that Hill Billy Bone. Yeah, Moosey sent me this song. Anything oh, Hill the Billy. song for <laughs> Yes. Hillbilly mm. Bone, it's beat mm. Trace Atkins. It's an official yeah. music video. Okay. It's had over 35 million, <clears throat> almost 36 million views. So, now. what does that mean? Now, you tell me what's important in life, sir. Right. Well, what's important is that we donate to the Hearing Impaired Foundation because there's 36 million people with that are tone deaf out there. They need some help. <laughs> What the hell? How do I know what it means? Come on. Uh, I don't know. Jeez. I was distracted. Hello, Pixel Chloe. Uh-oh. He's, hey, there's a duck. You you're know, multitasking duck. again. Listen, what? there is a duck. I got NSFW Radio yeah. Next posted. Good. I've got a good topic for you this week. Okay. You know what I'm doing right now? I don't really care what you're doing right now. I'm, I'm going to... Snipping this up. Oh, good for you. I'm going to tell you the damn topic, though. And the title of today's podcast. You ready? I 
I'll bet you 50 cents that you like half of it. <laughs> okay. That's a good title. Uh, like no, it. no, <laughs> no. It's called. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to go by 50 cents today. Man. Yeah. Law. Vinny, Vinny cent. Today's episode is called Law Doesn't Prevent Anything. It Punishes Everyone It Contacts. Ta da. That's a per that, what is the purpose of law? Uh, to protect. The, no, the purpose of law today, what it's turned into, not what it started out as, and probably always was, but they disguised it better a hundred years ago, is a business. Just revenues, making money off the public. That's going to cost you 25 cents in a swear jar. Today. I don't care. I'm, setting up I'm a not going to pay it. And I Every still time. refuse to pay it. So now what do you Every mean? time you say free or... Take me to court. Uh, sue me like everybody legal. else. No, 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 no. I'm making this up as I go along. I hope just so. Get, mm. Just get some money ready. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you when you've made a violation. Yeah. That way you won't have to worry whether you need to know or not know. Mm. When you do it, mm. I'll say, uh-oh, okay. there you go. Yeah. Money in the jar, yeah. buddy. Uh, See, that keeps everybody yeah. from having to think too hard, you understand? I suppose. If, if like you don't know it's illegal to start with, right? You don't even think, have to think about whether you want to do it or not do it, right? Give me an example there, mister. Well, whatever. Just put some money in the jar. I think uh, that's a good law right there. You no, no, ask, no, no, no. You no, ask no, me no, why. Now, no, you don't need to ask why. Just pay Pay up. See, I said law Here's... doesn't prevent anything. It punishes everyone it contacts. Listen to you rant on like some kind of crazy guy about an imaginary jar of money that you're not going to get. Oh, have you lost it? I mean, what's wrong with you, son? Did I pick Pay a up. Did I pick a bad Listen, topic for you? you you're going to comply or die. We'll, we can send well, people over. To I think you better get to sending. That's what I think, son. Now, now what, what about this 50 cent you're willing to bet? I'm not willing to bet anything. What are you talking about? Well, that's how you started it up. And that's why I was, I was be being, I was being, cent. oh, yeah, I was being satirical yeah. because I figured you'd like half of the thing, not all of it. Well, don't you and like you the kind idea of proved that this I was imaginary right. square what? jar, yeah. right, right, that I can arbitrarily say, oh, you've made a violation <clears throat> and you need to pay up. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, you don't even have to think about whether you're about to do something wrong or not. Because even if you're not, I can like just make it up to be wrong and then say you got to pay. But people they, don't believe that. They they think that's the, the fantasy of the thing. When it's turned into the reality, it wouldn't have happened X number of years ago, and now it's a common everyday occurrence. They they've snuck this dishonesty into the courtroom over the years, little at a time. Instead of doing everything all at once, they take little steps over 20 years. So by 20 the, years is nothing. No, it's well, it is to us because... If no, we, it's I mean like in, in the incremental progression of change. That's what I was saying. Years is, it is, is to short, us yeah. because we're not alive really. in it. Well, okay, I'm six. Not looking back. So Not looking back. 20, 20 years, years that from, long, is it? Well, no, 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 no. What, what I mean is they work in those levels. To us, 20 years is a long time. To the people behind this, 20 years is a step. It's, it's yeah. part of a plan. Very. It's not even a full step. Like and, the yeah. Bundy, for And they, they do it so no, slowly started. that that most people don't pay attention enough to see they're being lied to. So we got this slogan hmm. back in May. Well, you can figure out the year. The slogan, two in a row. No, no moo in 92 and cattle... Free in '93, so that was you know not even the beginning of this movement, right? To to take people off the uh, mm. all that wild lands out west. Mm. Oh right, you're going to go right to that. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, going with what I got experience on. There's other things in life you got experience on. Oh yeah, there is. All right, but this but, is the main thing, right? Okay, here, right? And, but the point behind the whole thing—it's not over. I've been saying that it ain't over. Now what? They're going to. I said they're going to right there at the sheriff's department. Now what? It's not, it ain't over. Right back to where you started. Now what? It's Mr. about Bunch. it's about money. Keep those legal fees rolling. 
Well, it goes back to court in uh, March. And see, and again, the slow time. By the time they get there, people are bored and don't care anymore. You have a public with the attention span of a mute. It's very interesting sometimes, but sad. But it's got its moments. Yeah, there needs to be a big uh, divergence onto the the courthouse there when the the uh, U.S. the Ninth U.S. Court of Appeals spends their week in Vegas. You know, they just travel around. Who was it? My friend from Vegas, matter of fact, he calls me yesterday, and we're talking, and uh, he's uh, what did he call it? Uh, hey, Vinny. Like the traveling, okay. the traveling robbers or something like that. You know, these judges travel around to different cities throughout the Ninth Circuit, different cities and <laughs> wait, <laughs> and this and that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not familiar with who you're talking about. The legal system out there, oh. with the one the buddies is in the federal U.S. federal uh, courts. I wouldn't know much about all that. Yeah. All I know is that the details behind what you guys agree as a country are just a bunch of bullshit. It's I think a, the Bundy supporters, there's no there's no word out on it. They need to, like, just gather in mass at the courthouse there in March, right? Bring more attention to what's going on. What else are you going to do? I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. That How are you going to fight? You're just going to leave it alone? Power in numbers, Vince. No, I just, I'm in Denmark, and I can't, yeah. I can't uproot my wife and take her to America to go, you know, participate in a protest. I'm you know little, what they did? Uh, they had these uh, machines out there, these uh, out where? on trailers, there by the courthouse where all the people were, the Bundy supporters. Okay. And they had all these listening devices on it. Oh, all yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder if they have, like, uh, you know, like they use all this different uh, frequency microwaves and the 5G, all whatnot. Yeah. That might, yeah. you know, kind of cause you physical harm. Or they're trying to peek inside your telephone or something, you know what I'm saying? Well, I know what you're saying, but there's a lot of opposition to it. But there's no uh, there's no way to study the future. So they they wrote it into the laws that it can't be uh, argued with. You can't you can't fight this 5G thing in court. You have to fight it on the street. They made it that way. So uh, if this I don't doesn't, know. these guys, what? I've seen these guys. They were showing up every once every week. Mm. And they were protesting some. I think tax thing or something like they'd been doing it for a long, long time. And there was just like a few guys that stand there with signs once a week. And you'd like, nobody paid them any attention. Well, this is about the 5g. And I, I was thinking, you know, is it, is it extinction or is it evolution? Cause they're going to tell yeah. you, well, you know, we're moving forward. And then you see the truth about this stuff. People have come forward and tell you know, made videos about what they know about 5G, and it's a weapons-grade technology. They they shouldn't use this on the public. It's it's not tested. It's so an experiment, and they want to see what's going to fucking happen to us. So, the only people that can stop it are the people that are doing it. And hmm. you know, it's can one you thing pronounce that girl's name? Pronounce that girl's sure that Her girl's name. name. That girl's last name, Greta's last name. No, I'm not going to bother you. Don't know you. What the fuck? I'm talking about it, something completely different. And you're bringing Greta up, who you refuse to fucking look at. So what do you got to say about her? That's insane. I don't know. I'm, I got drifted off into the chat. Well, great. Here. Then I'll quit talking and you can talk for the rest of the show. No, I'll just interrupt you periodically. Go on. Why? Ah. Why not? If you weren't interested, you should have just said so. Now, now we got Hannah. Uh, Hannah Hannah's is interested. interested. Yes, she right. is. See, mm. you feel better now? No, I didn't feel bad in the first place. You should. Why? Are you, did you bump your head? Yes. <laughs> there's <Dumb> <laughs> there, there's people, there's people in power today that try to kill us openly, right to our face, and. People don't get it. They they don't see the threat as a threat. They see it as evolution. We're moving forward into progress. And every step so far that they've taken to uh, move us into progress in the last hundred or so years 
has ended in this fucking nightmare that we call life today as a collective wars and poverty and why the fuck is there anybody hungry on this planet when you got people that got billions and trillions of dollars it it's a fucking scam <laughs> and if you believe it well there you go yeah, i guess you help make it work that way but to not believe it isn't to not see it it's to not want it <laughs> You know, the only resistance you, you have is, too, is mental. And you what you do with your money. Just too what? tied up trying to get by in life. Like how? Well, it takes all you can do. Two two people in the household anymore, doesn't it? No. Working to, Cirk, working to get by. Cirque's been, yeah. Cirque's been going into the city about three days a week now. Yeah, but you don't count. So, you don't, you're not in the American dream. No, I'm in the Danish nightmare. Thank you. Yeah. High taxes and people that don't speak fucking English unless they feel like it. What a <laughs> what a punishment. <laughs> it's it's fine, but um, doesn't uh, hmm. partnerships are not always financial, you know? but people think of that first. It's funny how that works out. How we've been trained hmm. to think about yeah, that's, money, that's money, 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 money. Yeah, fuck yeah. Because I've been in positions where uh, I was around other people that had possessions, but no cash. Me, I had a shitload of cash, but no possessions. So they needed some help, and I went, sure, I can do all that for you. And I was the one that didn't have anything. So life isn't... See, it's not, it's, I guess it's the indoctrination that you get stuck with that determines how you judge other people financially, which is <laughs> not a good thing to do because <laughs> you're never correct, you know? And, and I believe that because we're all in the same fucking debt together. And anybody that thinks they're above another person playing in this uh, fiat currency tr slash debit card slash futures market game <laughs> we're all getting screwed equally it's just you might get to eat steak and i might have to eat hamburger whoa there you go that's how i see that you reading again no i'm setting up for three minutes yeah. oh is it that <clears throat> time already almost yeah so, yeah. do, in the long run, do you think that law prevents anything, or do you think law punishes everyone it contacts? Yeah, it does, both. Yeah. Do you think that the cop, all right, they, they, they do horrible fucking things, right? But the cop that does it, do you believe that he's a, a willing participant in a crime, or do you think that he's brainwashed and believes he's doing the public a service somehow. Well, it happens uh, to be that uh, it could be either way because, unfortunately, it's become part of a rigged rigged system, ain't it? It's always been no, Vince. It's always been a rigged system. It's just what they did. They did it brilliantly. They did it a little step at a time over many years. If you go back to its beginnings and its origins, come on. I'm talking about modern day law, not the old thousands of years laws. I'm saying like in the States, the police started in about 1850, I think, in New York City. When they first started to get serious about some kind of protection for the public. And since then, it's turned into a protection to make money off the public. It protects somebody. But it ain't you or me. But I don't hold that opinion in other countries I've been in. I do today, but I didn't when I was yeah. there. But what now about I, Mexico? That's I, a definite one that you got to pay to play <laughs> as far as the, how they say the, the lay. See, I heard, I heard all that. And then I was there an incredibly long time ago compared to that day. I was there in 91, right? But even in 91, I heard the same stories that you're telling me I heard back then. Oh, man, if you get busted in Mexico, blah, blah, blah. I was down in the Ensenada, and uh, 
yeah, down there in this cup. I was like, F you, buddy. And he goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And he got all excited and he pulled a, a badge out. And I says, oh, compromiso. And I, I gave him like five bucks or something. Said, okay, <laughs> another five. Hey, it is a 420 of Vine time firing a hose down on that. You, yeah. sick, you sick cop bribing bastard, you. Uh, I wonder I story. wonder how many He's laws like, that broke. He, he was he was doubling as a, a a bouncer in a in a bar down in Ensenada and yeah and I put my feet up on the stage and it's like yeah. he told me two or three times you know you know bri- that, bribery should be against the cop not the guy that tries to bribe him that should be like, about a joint. he should be able to try to bribe somebody they shouldn't ever be able to use that as a threat against you hmm. but they do. Yeah. But then they just extort it out of you anyway. Some judge bangs a fucking table, and the next thing you know, you owe him eight hundred dollars. What? <laughs> Are you out of your fucking minds? And then you go to you know to get locked up for talking that way in court. See, it's just a big scam. Once they got you, they just squeeze you for everything they can take. Gavin Syme, you won't know who he is. You won't remember probably, but the guy that. Went down to Mexico. Yeah, I remember. Like, we talked about okay. him a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, he's All right. still a smart good, ass good, prick. Good. What about yeah. him? Yeah. Oh, he's down there running his mouth. Mm-hmm. And down. He's getting lippy with the Mexican police. He's going to end up on the uh, on a list, you know, of missing persons. I'm going to say. I get lippy with you, and I don't end up on no list. Yeah, but Ooh. I'm I'm not I'm the Mexican jealous. police. I'm not the Mexican police that will, you sure? uh, you know, could take you, drag you out, and uh, <laughs> stick you under a rock. Right? Don't you wish you were, though? <laughs> the truth of you the big matter. How things work. Yeah. I know. That's what I mean. Is, is the lack of violence in the society that I, I've been in for a number of years beyond this. Uh, it's just incredible. It, you know, you go eight years without seeing anything happen, and you get, I guess, uh, used to not seeing anything happen. Well, do you think, uh, you think maybe that there's an element like described there in Mexico that exists in police departments here in the Americas? When I was there, probably. But, see, I was in Baja, too, which is kind of, it's sparsely populated, so it wasn't. When I was there, even it wasn't real, you know, big, but I, it was long, a thousand miles, and it went from San Diego all the way down to Cabo San Lucas and back hitchhiking. But I tried to get on a boat in La Paz, but the boat engine blew up, and we had to take the boat back. It was it was an experience, and it was fun yeah, and all that, no doubt. But uh, no success hey, with sailing ever. Can you see com- uh, Circle's computer? No, Screen? it's off. But what oh. do you why? Oh, here's we got a request for hugs for Hannah from Chloe. Oh, I, yeah, that's nice. And hey, what do and, you want me to oh, do about it? Give her a hug. What do you think I want you to do? Nothing. I didn't Call hear. Her, I don't, Hannah. I can't hear you. <laughs> well, Call you know what? Up. No, I'm not going to do any of that. Hey, I mean, listen. I, I also I also have another message for you. Hmm. I, we believe, sure you do. We we believe you, sir, are a socialist at heart. <laughs> I don't know what to call me at heart, uh, but I really my experience in life and all the places I've been to that taught me that money is just a big fucking game people play to control each other with. And if you want to live like that, go for it. There's plenty of it out there. And the people that have it will spend it on you as long as they're entertained. So, did, mm. did you listen to Grimner last night yet? Uh, no, I woke up just at the end, so I haven't heard the show. I don't. I listen I'm to fell, it like Monday, or Tuesday asleep. usually, because I do yeah. the uh, yeah, I do the leftovers first, and then <laughs> then I do the the freakers ball afterward. Yeah, I was. I fell asleep sometime. I don't know. After the first hour, some turn in there. Wow, it's not oh, even all. He doesn't not, even start. Not, 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 quack, quack, uh, quack, yeah. quack, quack, quack. He doesn't quack, even start quack. leftovers out no, here until one in the morning. Does so. that probably, if somebody doesn't know that I'm shooting ducks inside the chat, I'll, yeah. uh, that sounded crazy. Yeah, quack, you always sound quack, crazy. Quack, What's quack, new? Quack, quack. Yeah. Hey, did <laughs> like you did you know that, that 
government can't function without relig- without religion editors to support it? I believe that, yes. Absolutely. That I would guarantee <clears throat> that if you would check all your registered voters, they all belong to churches. Every fucking religion there is, dude. No, not yeah, all. Yeah. There's a Fuck lot of yeah. people that are they call themselves anti religious. It's the same that. fucking thing, yeah. Vinny. No. Yeah, but I mean it's, it's like they don't they're not registered to a Okay, well being church. being unregistered to a church is the same when you join a group is the same. Like if well, I wanted to be a what do you call it? Uh uh an atheist. I could become an atheist by claiming I'm an atheist. But that That's just right. makes you it's, part it's a religious. Of, yeah, it's the same yeah. freaking thing that you're claiming that you don't believe in, and right. you, you're proven you're proven in a sense that you do by being the opposition to something you don't believe exists. <laughs> I <caught him. laughs> what? Are you nuts? So there's another group called uh, people that don't know, and I belong to that group. I have no clue. I don't believe any of it, but. There's other people that do, and as long as if people do, I, it makes it real. Listen, I can mm. make this real easy for you. Mm. If there's something that you'd like to know, you can come ask Uncle Vinny, and I'll clue you in. Really? Yeah. Then I want to know, what the fuck does that mean? Well, you're just not old enough and big enough to See, know. See, there you go. That's a government answer. All in good time. All in good time. Court has taught you well, sir. All in good time, sir. Listen, it's best. Sometimes best you don't know it all. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just here to save hmm. you little heartaches. Hmm. Yeah. From what? I don't get what you're talking about. Are Are you throwing some kind of redneck insult my way? No. Well, what are you doing? What? What? Bless. What? Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> you red dick prick. Uh, <laughs> I, I see. Yeah. Hey, I, oh. I was entertaining some Danish friends, and uh, they showed me a, a link of Tommy Chong after he got out of jail, like from, I don't know how many years ago it was. I forget the, the details like that, but they had, you know, they arrested him for uh, selling bombs, made him do like nine months in federal prison. But he did comedy afterward. But I had the kids, these Danish guys, they're kids to me, half my age. But uh, they're showing me this shit, and I'm thinking, wow. So you know, it's it's amazing the similarities between the cultures, and but the obvious differences. Well, we should have this titled with humor in it then, Grimner. Like you said, there's a new thing there. Uh, what do you call it? Let me go back over here. What in the yeah. fuck are you going on about? Well, yeah, Grimner <laughs> added a new feature or, or whatever you call yeah. it. Yeah. Like, to what? Here, here well, why don't you like talk about freedom. it for a while? Here's one that's activism and freedom. That's from... Uh, uh, the Power Hour. Here's activism and an environment. That's from uh, with Lonnie and myself on the nuclear state. Uh, here's in a perfect world with uh, you and I, uh, me, in that uh, activism, freedom, freakers ball. Those are the you get two. It rolls two. It's scrolling here on latest post. Here's a ponder gander in freedom, and that's a ponder gander in perspective. Here's Taylor Swift is a Roger. Now I'm just forward for Vincent Easley. Saturday, whoops. This is from a cousin from Texas, ain't it? What's going on? Oh, it's on Outlook. Huh. Yeah, one of them many emails that I have set up. I'd like them to see them read all my emails. <laughs> Uh, somebody said some category. Thank you, Grimmy. Yeah, category. That's what it is. So yeah, here it is. I'm over here on the uh, reallibertymedia.com homepage. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the latest post scroll, and up at the top, the banners <clears throat> scroll. Right now we got grasscity.com. 
which reminds me, I haven't used a Dabbly link in quite some time. Should figure out how to get them up there. That's my friend from Louisiana that lives in Tennessee. But that's, yeah, I like that, that latest post scrolling right there. So check it out. So when we're coming up to the, uh, the year end, uh, donate would be what is that called donation drive what are we gonna do we're gonna have like a party a giveaway or what are we gonna do grimner anything grimner sunday blues tomorrow there's power hour with prince and poopster there's scrolling banners up here across the top they've got a a circle with a line poked out of it like a knob i guess that's like some kind of bit currency or something what matters a ponder gander? That looks pretty cool. Real cool. That's the coolest band. I got the coolest banner right there. Grimmer had to do it for me. Ocelli's pretty cool. Are you guys looking at this? Let me go get the link. Oh, now let me say this is the problem that I had, and I guess I kind of. Turn around and poke somebody in the eye, sock puppet. We're talking about weather dork. There's a conflict between weather dork and Vanna White. So when I post something, most especially being that it is from Real Liberty Media, Vanna White comes back with title not acceptable. Now, had uh, Grimner just posted that five minutes ago, weather dork would have come along and said, uh, Grimner posted that five minutes ago, which that that's a good thing, see, right there. But still, we don't get the title. Right now, that's any of the broadcast that uh, you know you do the same thing there. Now, I think that in my opinion that is is all I know about little or nothing about the whole deal to start with is that uh, that needs to be fixed, resolved that conflict between them two bots because uh, yeah, otherwise we're just like um, slapping ourselves here. Just change the the duties and obligations of the bots right there somehow. I don't don't ask me how to do it. I don't know how to do none of that. I'm just saying do it. Where's Flash? He ever make it back? I hear. What do you mean make it back? Where you been? I've been here. I've been holding the air for you this whole time. Well, you interrupted, so nah. You, you go said, ahead. No, nah, go ahead. Go go go. You said you'd be right back. No, I didn't. I was talking about something and you interrupted and started talking over me so i stopped talking oh well i thought you had to go somewhere. that's because you don't listen what you talk you're when i'm talking you're you don't pay any attention so uh, sometimes i do no you don't you sometimes. and you and mary both do the same thing you're always looking for what you're going to talk about next while i'm talking this time that's a whole, i was in that's the middle whole... of something and you went blah blah right in the middle of so i don't even I know where i was on it yeah, okay. I do that well, all the time. Enjoy. <clears throat> Pretty good. Hey, where'd you go? Nowhere. Why not? Just talking to myself is stupid. I could do a solo show and do that. No, it gets so, ah, nah, interacting and nah, interrupting. Nah. This seems to nah, be you don't even working. pay attention. Don't even know what I'm talking about in it ever. So nah. Sometimes I Nah, do. you're so full of shit. <laughs> hey, listen, we play it back and forth. The only time you, you know that you know, I don't uh, know when we're arguing it, but it's been working, so I mean yeah, but when I mean, we're arguing, I'm, you pay attention. But when I'm talking about sure. something else, you don't. You don't even have. A I know because I'm like listening to it, and then I go like, yeah. "Get a fuck." You go read, Greta reading Trump. what's her name. Yeah, I know, but it's like my mind just don't stay tuned to some things. It don't. I was. It's like it what, don't make see that's what I mean. Sense. I was talking. And then I go thinking, "What the wow, hell was, is he talking about?" I was talking. See that's what I'm, I'm done. I, you want to quit? Quit the show or whatever. Because we're just now we're arguing about what I was talking oh, about because you weren't ahead. fucking listening and nothing to do I with didn't Trump. Say I was. Yeah, you just <laughs> said. I wandered that. off. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing, Come Vinny. On. Then it's pointless. I guess this is our last one. Let's what? make it good. Because I'm not going to do this anymore. It's stupid. 
to talk to myself, I just do solo shows. Because that's, uh, I'm done. I don't know what to what to say now. You don't pay no fucking attention. And then you I, say, well, you were talking about Trump and Greta when I wasn't. Showing that you weren't paying attention to what I was saying is like, no, what are you doing I'm the show for? Example, I say the example. I say the I want to fight with you up on here, Dave. I don't but know what to it fight is what about. It is. You're not even it is paying what attention. It is. I mean, yeah, but, okay. We're working for you. You know, roll through it, man. Yeah, it ain't like we're. Uh, uh, what mm. are we doing? I don't know. It's going nowhere. Yeah. I thought I got some good topics, and you know, you come up with. Well, come on. All right. Reading stop. the chat stop. while stop. while I'm talking. So, no. You know, I chase squirrels, so let's stop. Pause. Let's pause. Okay, do let's what? Start again. Okay. Let's start again. I'll try to. Pay more attention. Right. <laughs> no. Well, I, it kind of goes hand in hand with doing a show with somebody, but you always avoid it. So I don't know what to fucking do with this anymore. I kept trying, and I'm pretty much just, I don't know what to say. I tried to bring up a topic, and you just go reading chat and telling me about what's her name at some other site. And that That's not what I wanted to do this shit for. Well, that's why I just said there was humor supposed to be involved in all that. And, you know, we've, we've got, what, you and I have con- conversed separately and said, oh, you know, you like it. I thought it was working good. It's just like uh, yeah, but it uh, thinks, Martin and Lewis or something. You know, it's just part of it. I'm sitting Shit. here while you, after, okay, you interrupt me to just blather for like a couple of minutes solid and I was just sitting here. I right. muted. I brought the. I, I didn't know what to do with myself. And then I thought, like, ain't you back yet? And I right. kept trying well, okay. to talk. So, all right. Why don't you pick something that's interesting to you? Because I've tried with you here today, and nothing's gone anywhere. I don't know all what right. to say. Well, let, let's start again at your last one, and I'll, let's see if I can pay attention. How long? We'll time it, all right? Let's do it. Ready, set, go. I said extinction or evolution. Yeah, and I reached it with that some yesterday and uh, with Circle because that was the uh, topic you threw over. I said I liked it, yeah. <clears throat> so we're we're headed one way or another, <clears throat> it seems. How do you see that? Well, we'll either we can either overcome, we can tip it, or we'll uh we're gonna collapse and fall in. That's Okay, but, but we're on that uh, we're on that lever in and uh above that fulcrum right now trying to, to keep it tipped. Where we're not dumped into the barrel, but we're uh, we're dumping it over, right? Fixing it, dumping it upright. Who is we? Everybody that's involved in activism goes back to the categories, like over there. See, uh, categories would be activism and humor. I would put this one in right here because well, it's a mix. See? Okay, does it, it matter it how you personalities that are in conflict? That is the funny part about how the whole thing's being presented because that's the way the world works. Well, I just I. Uh, being over exemplatory on it, and, and I just thought it ran really good because of the road. And you always laughing back and forth, and sometimes it make you mad. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess I don't know, but uh, you know, it's not a bad thing that we do, There's, right? I don't believe in the good and the bad in the traditional sense of the, the way people live it. You know, not that bad things don't happen, but. I think there's a balance to it, and if something bad happens, you brought it on. Yeah, well, you and I are friends. Yeah, no, but this ain't a bad or a good thing. This is a fucking radio show where people say stupid shit and have fun. So right. what? It's not, it's not the the beginning or the end of nothing. It's just a, a thing and that's happening. It's not that big a deal. Just sometimes I don't know. I speak my mind. I got bored and one decided, hey man, I don't want to don't want to do this today so that's the way i am honest with everybody that is yeah. pretty much the core of why i'm so successful in life in general in the sense of i get along with people for the most part and then the only arguing i do anymore is with you on the radio <clears throat> give me a break it's good for you see i mean no you, it's just think of it as therapy all right <laughs> You know, I, listen, Doctor I, want you, I want you to relax. Listen, just lean back in your chair and close your little eyes. No, no, okay? no, I can't do that. Wiggle, listen, wiggle your fingers, no. wiggle your toes. <laughs> Take your shoes off if you need to. Close uh, your eyes. Lean. No. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, my neck cracked. Yeah. Mm. So you're evolving right. then. You're not. You're not going to be extinct. 
Mm, yeah, we're all going uh, individually extinct at some point in time in this world. Well, what do you matter? Think? Matters what you do with it between now and then. That that really matters. Well, what do you think about the evolving part? Do you mean uh, in mind or in uh, matter? I guess it would be both because you can't do one without the other. You can't make a, a reality something yeah. other people can see unless you do it physically. So, idea, I don't know. These ideas seem to control people so well that it. I guess it disturbs me at a level that's hard to express. Because to me, well, it's, it, life is so simple, and, and people make it so fucking hard. It, it appears that uh, in, in the uh, capacity of, of thinking within the mind, that mm. uh, man is moving forward and trying to go beyond the, uh, the constraints of, of murder, death, kill. Right? Oh, uh, yeah. But in the yeah. physical, even though we're in a, a, a semi sense of uh, of living longer and better lives through modern medicine and chemicals, and yes, thank God for oil. See, and remember when I was telling you that I don't believe all the rhetoric from the past about short lives. And there's lots of folks that lived mm. lived to be ripe old ages, older than I am today, from the past. Yeah, those hundreds. were generally the more well off. The poorer people were that it, it took uh that much more of, of the day's uh, daily duties uh, mm. of uh and toil to be able to produce enough uh for for food and shelter and uh clothing. And, and, that, and that was but, a hard struggle. Right. And but so with you get this, but you get with this your day. with your struggle huh? though, you get a better quality of mm. of input. So your life quality is improved in a different level of what there's, you're comparing there's a it cutoff. to. There's a cutoff yeah, point in there yeah, somewhere. At some be. point, you're being malnutri yeah. uh, you know, malnourished uh, uh, and overtaxed on your body for the nutrition. I mean, you're, what are you going to eat? You're living off of what? Beans and taters? Uh, that I agree with that. Yeah, poor but people, you can't yeah. live off of poor that. Poor people aren't going to live as long as the wealthy do. But that's... Yeah. That's that's the whole premise of my look at finances. All this shit's all been hijacked by thieves over the last hundred years. And all the freaking stories they tell you, although they sound believable and they look believable, they're mostly bullshit. <clears throat> and all this, all this finance that we do, all these different levels of it, cash and cards and all this crap, it's all bullshit. And... There's no excuse to have all these prices so high other than we're paying a debt that cannot be paid. And when you tell other people that, they laugh in your face. So, you know, oh, the government's got it under control. What's wrong with you? Average Joe is not very smart in the, uh, in the ways of finance, which is why average Joe doesn't have any to show, so to speak. Yeah, that's why the average Joe, everybody's in debt in the whole system. They've got their mortgage, a car payment, and then you get all the add-ons, you know, insurance and uh, different, all the different types of insurance and everything else that goes with it. And that's cradle to grave, you know, is the way the system's set up. Come back from World War II and started building, you know, them uh, track homes and stuff. So it was a real good introduction to, to getting... Uh, Americana into the what it is today. I mean, coming out of uh, the Bernays ideas of propaganda and conditioning uh, the society. What about the people that embrace it? What else choice do you have? Mm. How you break away? I mean, that's a big step right there, and you can't really never do it all. No, completely, Fuck. even because the way it's set up. Saying? Yeah. Uh, how how are you going to get away with? Uh, you're still going to have to pay land tax at some somewhere, point. Somewhere, yeah, always. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying is that all these all these laws and taxes and shit that we're that we accept, they do fuck all that. All all this collective crap goes to pay one debt, and everybody else is being promised that they're going to get paid someday. 
And the money doesn't even, at this point where we are, they're just bullying their way through. They're stealing oil from other countries. Then they distract you with <coughs> crap about climate change. And, oh, they, the moon, you know, going to the moon and assassinating certain political <coughs> fuckers. And it's all theater. Well, yeah, we kind of keep our oil, oil uh, hoarded here. They got that big oh, dome huge. down there in, like, in wow. Louisiana. Yeah. They just go like dump oil into the ground. Isn't that crazy that there's so much oil we there, just yeah. dump it down the yeah. hole in the ground and pull it back up? It's like you think that stuff would go leak out somewhere, but no. Up the, in Alaska, I mean, huge. Oil the government up has thought this through. This is a brilliantly fucking written exceptionally freaking uh, done plan. I mean, how they do this with us doing it all is priceless. And when when I try to, you know, voice my opinion about it, well, some people, this is what I got pissed off about, is I, I met these kids in town because I was wearing a freaking t-shirt, a movie t-shirt. And, uh, Uh-oh. And, was it Rocky? No, it was uh, the... Boondock Saints. Oh, yeah? And it's such an obscure film that it only attracts a certain crowd of people that would recognize what the fucking t-shirt means. Right. Huh. And I, I was walking down Main Street. These two guys were walking towards me. And the one of them looks at the shirt, gives me a big thumbs up. I went, hey, cool. He goes, nice shirt. And he said it in English. But I you know, I, you know, passed him by. Then the, the next time I'm wearing the same fucking shirt, I run into these two guys again. <laughs> and what what I was talking about is they're they think like I do. They're they're less than half my age, and they're born in Denmark. And we we agree on the major topics of politics and socialism, all the way we live. And I've got these two Danish guys telling me the things that I would tell other people in English. So, wow. I was like blown away that, you know, here I am in Denmark and I have the fortune to meet other people that are interested in what I'm interested in and also think like I do. Top that. Yeah. That's a pretty tough movie, huh? Boondock Saints. Do you remember seeing it? Yeah, that's the oh, one where yeah. they kill that kid, right? See, they, that covers a lot of movies. It's about, how do you explain it? It's, I guess it's about a family of assassins, so to speak. Because there's these three guys in the movie, and then four, four in the second one. But the three guys in the movie all run around killing everybody they encounter. So, hmm. killing that well, kid is pretty... Yeah, but killing that kid is kind of an understatement. It's a pretty violent film. Yeah. How many boondock saints do we have in the real liberty media? I guess probably none. Hey, mental, are you a boondock saints fan? <laughs> boondock saints. That's what they should have named the football team. <laughs> They're not the New Orleans saints. The boondock saints. Kind of you know what I take from that, though, is just the un... Um, the unholiness, I'll call it, then, the, the, of, of killing, of taking a life. It's because the, there's some set uh, a standard established that uh, says it, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. you got to die. It doesn't matter yeah. that he doesn't need to, that he shouldn't, that uh, but mm. he's got to die. Yeah. And people make that um, decision for other people all the time. Yeah. Well, that's well, the thing I'm no, against. There's Vince. no justice. Yeah, there's no there's no justice in their decision. And I believe it's all because we're taught to lie to each other, and we live in bullshit, terrible bullshit stories that aren't true. It, from the money to religion to education, it's all crap, garbage. Look at the shit they're producing today with college. A bunch of pampered little brats that can't listen to a certain word. That's I mean, been, there's one thing yeah, to get, get mad at. The, what? The universities have been the the uh, hotbed of uh, um, 
infiltration to change in, in uh, societal thinking and social ideas, right? Well, I'll, I'll give you an example, Vinny, because I wrote it into the notes for the show at the last thing I typed in. Flash gets a hair up his nose and bitches at Vinny. Because that's, <laughs> that's what happened. I was just picking for a hair yeah, up Yeah, but it was, you know, something bugged me. I don't know. I get I get mad. I, you're, I don't know. Me and you have been doing this shit. I don't Fuck, I don't know. I just you know, talk I, to you like I would talk to him. I was thinking about it. It's yeah. like I say Greta and Trump. That's that's what I see in all the headlines coming down. It's like yeah, I, I don't I don't read them. I just see the reaction of of people. I know what it's why it's there and what the purpose is, what the draw to one side or the other is. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. the duality. Like said, yeah, yeah. And Gotta then, have it. Like we we've, we've gone for all these years and going and, and looked at the, and examined all these structures that make up the world. And, and for me, it's like um, to go back and talk about uh, how the federal reserve was created and uh, the people down there on Jekyll Island is their little secret meetings occurred. You know, a lot of people already <clears throat> know this and <clears throat> for, for, uh, for me and you, I've, I've, it's more of uh, like we're doing right now. We're discussing, uh, the reality, you know, more now, the reality is more people do not know than do know. And yeah. beyond that, some some people are just apathetic when it comes to under, trying to even understand finance. Period. They they just live in that currency credit world and don't don't care about the details. Just do it. Assassins or spies? I don't know. Where'd that come from? I don't either. From one taco. Oh, I don't know. You multitasking motherfucker, you. <laughs> but, you know, law doesn't prevent shit. This, that was a good point of me having my little un, unhappy moment. Is you can break the fucking rules and the laws first before anything happens. So... What is the point of all this writing shit down? It's so you could punish somebody that does something that you don't approve of. That's pretty much Hello. how it works. Instead of just being taught and raised to not behave certain ways, all the negative shit is thrust on us. As soon as we can go to school, they shove it down your fucking throat for 12 years. Teach you absolutely fucking nothing you can use in life. I mean, unless you didn't learn to read and write before you went to school, but that's normal to me. So I think people that don't are being deprived. Their parents are fucking them. But that's my opinion. Not much seems to come out of the colleges now. So, or political arena. Have you seen? Have you seen some of the, the faces of these people that want to be the president? <laughs> Oh, they're not serious. No, I, I really have. They're they're not very attractive people. You ever notice that since Kennedy, they try to put somebody up there in the White House that doesn't look better than you. And then when they really got creative, they put Obama in there. See, and you know, if if you're uh, see, you know, we all wanted to like Obama. No, I didn't. Really did. No, I didn't. Oh, Never wanted I to. Uh, not I was like, finally, the day has come. We can prove that we ain't racist by voting a black man. Oh, that. Or half, half, half black man. Oh, yeah. It had nothing to do with his race. He's a politician. I don't care what color he is. Fucking. Yeah. He was a on, senator. Man. You got to have, have some of the feel good that comes with Look it, at the way he came to power. It was so obviously bullshit to me. I don't. Okay. It didn't seem right. He didn't have to work for anything or prove anything or be any. He was, he was molded like a thing for people to believe. It was sad that they believed it. But hook, line, and hey, sinker. What? Here I am uh, running around. Hmm. This is from Jules at UCY. Elon Musk is sending marijuana to astronauts yeah. on, the, on the ISS. Sure he is. Oh. You really believe there's a space station up there, Vinny? Please. I, I, yeah, <sighs> Good I'm Lord. Sure. Yeah. I think there's a hunk of metal up above the Earth. 
No. Flying no. high up in the sky? No. Yeah. Where do you think they park it at? Park it at, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do, Vinny. It's, on a, it's on a big rope. You're crazy. It's, it's on a big rope so it doesn't float away. Right? You know what I can't figure out is how mm-hmm. come uh, I can't find that those uh, um, images of the helium escaping, or is it hydrogen, I mean, hmm. escaping, escaping the, atmos- the atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm just too old to believe in Santa Claus. Jeez, there comes a time when even if you do, you got to go, yeah, well, it's a good story. I mean, it's a wonderful idea and all that, but no, <laughs> Santa Claus. So spaceships and aliens and honest politicians and people that tell you the truth. No, that's not what we get. What we have is a clusterfuck of liars, a a collection of fucking dunces that it would be hard to assemble if you just tried to do it at at random. These people are (laughs) handpicked for for your selection. (laughs) Anyway, that's why you get two choices, you know. Oh. I read something that was kind of interesting about the election. And they go, now they're trying to do away with the electoral college. And I'm not so sure I'm for it. But the, on the other hand, Hillary did beat him okay. on the, on the uh, ballot count. But she didn't beat him on the uh, electoral count because the... The guys that vote, guys and gals who vote in the electoral college, they claim to represent the voting public, but they vote the way they want to vote. So who pays them to vote for who? <laughs> it's a, you know, uh, it's so obviously uh, you can't prove it. How could you ever prove the corruption? You can accuse, and everybody knows the government's full of shit, and everything they do is fucked up, but everybody still supports the fucking government. I openly do not support the United States of America at any fucking level. <laughs> but they claim my paperwork. So, but I wouldn't live there again by choice. They have not to, if you had yeah. to. It, what, what does have to? See, that's uh, what? What if they, like, what? you had no, no country for old men? How do you mean? Well, just like you had no home. You was like stuck in an el- airport or something. Me? Are you yeah. out of your? M- oh no 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 <laughs> no. no, <laughs> what? no you, no. You're saying what? You wouldn't stay in the airport? What I'm saying is that I'm not derelict enough to uh, <laughs> to ever face a decision like that. I would always have a, a, a another way to go. I always have. I guess my way of insurance. You know, because I, I don't like the government's bullshit, so I got my own. And experience enough to know that it works the way that I do it. So, there you go. You get all your knowledge there in one capsule, mister. Yeah, I uh, I left this tab open looking for... Uh Beads and boobs. Yeah. Grim wants uh, more Mardi weed. Gras. Mm. Mar- Mar- yeah, Mardi Gras. Yeah, whatever. Look all you want. You're not going to find anything. Though the, the, these these things that came and went because of you they, know the do gooders in society sport. Oh, we could do video search. Do you know? How, um, do you know how dangerous it is to live in the states? Somebody can make a phone call. A neighbor can turn you into some. Anonymous group, you know, something, this entity, and call them up. Oh, I, I read a link that uh, Grimm posted. They're it, showing boobies. It was about, it was about a, a, a woman got uh, into a divorce or breakup with her ex, and he called the police to do a wellness oh. check on her, telling them this story about she was violent, she, she had guns, and this, that, and the other. The part that he lied about was she was violent. The part that was true is she was a gun owner. So they went in there without her consent, knowledge, or awareness, and then she drew on them and they shot her. 
And wow. That's terrible. But see, these are the things that Americans do to each other now that wouldn't be tolerated 10, 15 years ago when I was there. I, I would never imagine anybody could do something like that and get away with it. So I'm terrified to come back to my homeland. Are you crazy? The way that I you know, think and talk about the fucking <clears throat> system, I wouldn't last 10 minutes at home now. A bunch of wackadoodles. A lot has changed in the last 20 years, but 20 years just didn't have I know, I know. A great I, amount of time I realize that. It, no. It is if you if it's you, it's not if yeah. you're the, the entity that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. this you know, game we play. Uh, look back to 1900, you know, and then mm. there was a big change there in the industrial age came. All right. Oh, sure. We'd been at, yeah. we'd been at one, you know, generally single horsepower from then. And then you get the oil, which is really, really cheap energy compared to output and cost of production, right? Right. Yeah. Not to I mean, if, but not today, but at the time, yeah. yeah. Especially, yeah. yeah. I mean, but now there's alternatives, of course, too. No, there was alternatives before. That's the yeah, whole yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, couldn't yeah, figure yeah. out a way to dump all that oil and make all these guys rich. And then, then when they figured it out, they could replace hemp with it. Then they made laws against hemp to do the, exactly what's been done. Now they're going to bullshit the public and make hemp legal again. <laughs> but in the meantime, they've, they've had years to milk this. Do you know that in the life of a, one of those turbine windmills that they make, it doesn't create enough electricity to pay for the parts that it took to make the shit? <laughs> Really? Yeah. And the maintenance uh, and it it's not cost effective, but see people are they're dumb. They're dumb by deception. They're that not doesn't, uh, told anything that's true. They don't know it. That doesn't add up to me. I, I think that uh any Do a little look generator at oh, that yeah. you make is yeah. yeah, it's gonna produce enough electricity to the parts produce are the same so, amount of okay. Electricity it took to make mining, all the stuff that it, mining the steel, <laughs> yeah, all of making I, the parts, blah 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 blah. In the lifetime of the machine, after all the maintenance they've got to do to keep them running for the life they have, they don't. They don't. They. You can believe the other side if you like to, but no. And the damage they've at, done uh, to the birds. And shit. I worked at North American Pop. It was, it was fascinating taking mm. steel and building stuff. Uh, I also worked at another place, uh, structural steel, steel but, uh, roll it, getting a big old roll of steel, unrolling it, and then mm. coiling it into a pipe and uh, rolling it and then welding, seam welding it. And, you know, How thick? And then, um, what would have been the thickest? Uh, some stuff. Well, when you get into like flanges and couplers and all that stuff, of course you get uh, the bands that have to, be, which is a few inches. Okay. Yeah, big, big machines yeah, yeah. for bending metal and for all that stuff. Yeah, this is like uh, we did did jobs for uh, like at dams, at, at uh, city drinking water, uh, sewage. We yeah. built uh, also stainless steel pipe. I got took yeah, to the Hoover, be... the Hoover Dam for a tour back about 35 years ago, hitchhiking through yeah hitchhiking through Nevada, yeah. and the turbines down yeah underneath the you go in on this tour and they take you underground to where all the big, big heavy equipment machines that they use are. It's unbelievable. I drove eight, I drove eighteen wheeler across the Hoover Dam. You can't do that anymore. What? What? No yeah. way. Wow. Back in the day, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, all these changes, right? These environmentalists, they attack all the wrong groups. Well, that was because of 9-11. Yeah, they afraid somebody's going to blow up. Yeah, as soon as 9-11, it's like they shut, stopped trucks from crossing it. You know, there was all these. What a con. And it's in. such a, it's a snow job, too, the whole damn thing. I think Rob Works posted earlier today that 800 American trucking companies shut down. Stranded their drivers, but I didn't open the link. It was before the show I was a little busy with other things, but I oh, saw yeah. the headline and read the, that little bit and went, wow. Well, hey, man, I, I thought 18 was going to be the shittiest year of the U.S. history ever, and I was wrong. 
Okay, and then I thought, well, maybe 19 will be it. No, no, still, people are still telling me how wonderful it is. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe the public opinion is going to shift and more people are going to be uh, honest about how things are. But it's hard to complain about life when you, you've got it good. So, hmm, what do you complain about when you've got it good? <laughs> Well, you could probably complain about something always. Well, I considered okay. See, I again, I don't think of money like I consider you to be doing very good in life. But other people would figure, well, yeah, but he lives in the middle of nowhere, and, you know, rougher life and all that kind of shit. And I think, wow, cool. If he's willing to do it and doesn't have to pay the price of living in the city, that's probably a benefit for everybody. You know, I suddenly have a like an excess uh, money now. How so? I oh put, yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, plus oh okay, I thought it was something else. Okay. Yeah. Also, yeah. I yeah. I decided to pitch the uh, uh, can cola out the door too, out the window with the cigarette. Good. Excellent. Yeah, so that's yeah. like well, I mean that ain't very, I mean that ain't a lot of money, but hey, no, but the and, cola and dollars drop, even, yeah. still dropping the cola, because I remember how hard it's that was. It's not even good. I know, it is not I know, I know, but it tastes. See, we're addicted oh, to it's good. We're man. addicted to this shit. Okay, whatever this shit is that we're addicted to, we know it. But giving it up, that's a personal thing. I'm not. I don't care if you quit or not. I'm. I guess I'm just like. I'm glad you're doing it, but if you didn't do it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say, "Well, you're a fucking idiot because you smoke and drink coke." Because it's not like that. It's you're fueling the addictions that I refuse to give up. Well, not coke, but the cigarettes. I'm not giving them up yet. When I do, I will. But that'll be, you know, like you. I just make up my mind, and that'll be the end of it. But I don't like doing that because when I decide not to look back, I don't. I'm over here wandering around on the map looking for the next 420 report. Oh, what time is it? Oh, no, it's uh, nice. We, we, survived, we survived a whole fucking hour without killing each other today. I'm in a foul mood for some reason, Ben. So I, something just, um, you know. Have you been to the doctor lately? No, Did you no, get no. a prostate exam? <laughs> no. I haven't been to a physical doctor. I'm not even talking about a physical. It's like, uh, I guess like a mental thorn. You know, where something just doesn't feel right. And you want to put the blame on somebody else. When in all the time, it can't be you. So it has to be me. But I don't know what the hell it is because I'm looking out. And then I get mad at people. So, eh. you know, I'm not apologizing for it. It's just what the fuck I did. And good or bad doesn't matter. You're not mad. I'm not mad. But fuck. Sometimes you got to tell people what you think and let them know so they know. Whether you're right or wrong is immaterial. If you're wrong, they'll correct you. If you're right, it will, you know, sort itself out somehow. But honesty, fuck, maybe I'm taking honesty too far in life now. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Hold on. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> I'm going to bash Vinny in the head with a brick. Give me a minute. Ah, oh, maybe this is what I'm looking for. What? You psycho. Verhovna Rada of Ukraine. Uh-oh. What's going on in the Ukraine now? I don't know. I'm trying to get uh, a, a physical location for 420 coming up, uh. which is like 12 minutes out. Oh. Uh -oh. Yes, it's the 420 around the world. Uh I don't know what it is. It's an executive body. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like wine and weed together. No? Oh, no. This is something different. I think it has to do with government. It looks what, like it does. What has Bad to do news. With bad news. Yeah. First yeah. deputy chairman, Russian. Yeah. It's a servant of the people. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back. This is not. Okay. That wasn't what I was looking for. I think it's a location, though. So, Ukraine. You know much about their Ukraine. It's been in the 
the news, right? And this is what O'Donnell Trump and all his cronies you're supposed to be involved in about is the Ukraine. <clears throat> I ran flash off again. Where'd he go? You're right, but that's not. I hear him. All right, so, well, I guess we're going to do a governmental uh, uh, response report for 420 this time. <laughs> governmental. Yeah, you got governmental, all right. There you go. Those you people guys are can fucking that crazy. Out, but, um, it's right. going to be 420 there yeah. in uh, the Ukraine coming up. Yeah. Are you a kidding me, Ukraine? Yeah. The fire in the whole hmm. bird. Can you pronounce that word? What word? Verkhovna? Is that what you Oh, I don't know what language to Ukraine. No, I got no idea. I don't speak no Ukrainian, man. Wait a minute. Hmm. I think I've got the wrong time somehow. Wrong time of what? Well, I don't understand. Oh, it's ten after. So let me check my map again. This is uh Hmm. yeah, in Oh wait a minute, maybe I don't have the same town. This is Verk. Holy, yeah, I don't. A N S K. Let me try that. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to click in and hone in on it. Okay. I think I'm in two parts of the world, different parts. This is Russia. That wasn't Ukraine. So, well, Ukraine we and go. Russia are pretty close together there. Sports. That's what I was thinking. Ukraine's uh-huh. in, yeah. So it's next to Germany, or it's about 1,400 miles from where I'm at. That's like from here to. To, like from uh, here to, to Vegas. Like from here to where I came from, it's the same distance as it is from here to, to uh, Ukraine. Go figure. Don't know why, but it's one of those weird things that got stuck in my head that I could remember. Like when I play trivia and answer the weird questions. And go, well, how'd you know that? I don't know. <laughs> Just remembered hearing it somewhere. Uh, 1,400 miles, baby. 1,400 miles is about, it's a little further from uh, the San Diego, Mexico border to uh, Bellingham, Washington, Canada border. It's like 1,500. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. Because California is 900 miles. And then uh, Oregon is about another 250 or three. And so is Oregon. It's about, the total is about 15. It's like 1,400 and... 60, I think, from here to Vegas, if I remember right. What from, the hell? Oh, from Arkansas? Wow. Yeah. It's, a, it's a trip. Yeah, that's a coast trip. Hell, Miami, if you count the Keys, Miami's like 600 miles from the top to the bottom. If you drive all the way down to Key West, and I've done it myself. I did it in 1976, before it turned into whatever it is now. It used to be a, a hippie hangout in the 70s, you know. People went there to smoke dope and, you know, have fun. Had a good one. Whoa, what? So what's going on with Pardon. your link? I don't know. There we go. I'm not oh, I don't know. Anymore. I was trying to pin down the time. I've got it all Of here. what? <clears throat> well, I'm getting ready for us. Uh, so I've got it pre-typed out here to post. Oh, uh, it's seven minutes. Less than seven minutes. I'm yeah. all set now. Oh, you're all set. Should we? I always try to be clever. Now, I don't know if I can even pronounce this word. Maybe I ought to copy it and uh, go over to Google. Let's strap you into um, Spaceman Spiff's freaking spaceship and tell us what things are like when you get back. I'm so high, dude. I'm (laughs) stoned. Can you imagine? (laughs) Yeah, well. The Greta porn is very popular right now. See, you got Lonnie on that. I I only assumed that it was you supposed to something about Greta porn, and she yeah. was all like, because she thinks Greta's real person, and I think uh, neither one of y'all are real people. That Greta and Trump are really oh only yeah, they're real they're frontmen, fake band, and yeah, they're shitty band frontmen. That's all. It's the same crap. That's what I've been saying. If you believe all that stuff, then it makes it real. There you go. If you believe in something. No matter how bizarre it looks to me, fuck do I, you know, how does that have anything to do with what you believe? How funny it is for you to tell me doesn't change your belief. But to be ready, 
But to be conned by these freaking politicians and front men is sad. Ready? No, it's 14 after. No, I'm going to get the word out here so I can at least say it. What's I... the word? Wait, word? wait. Word? How to pronounce names. Oh. Let's try again. No, I ain't going to do it. You do it. Thanks. I don't want to. Listen. Yeah. Hey, young. What's this about? I mean, what are you just reading the name wait, over and over for? Wait, 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 wait. Listen. <sighs> so I can. Vir uh, Hayonsk. Is that right? I have Vier, no idea what you wait. I don't know. I was trying to ask Flash. And but I don't did. know. No. Wait a minute. Let me, let me hear it. Listen. It's just submitted from Russia. It must be true. <laughs> Listen. Russia. I ain't getting that roll, am I? Vyrhayansk. There's a roll in there. I think we're going to have to go see some uh, moose and uh, Bullwinkle. What do you think? Bullwinkle and Rocky? <laughs> what is Bullwinkle and Rocky going to do? Well, we can at least uh, listen to Boris. Boris and Doris. Yeah, you know what babushka means? Oh, no, a little babushka. No, a little grandmother. Yes. Wonderful. Why are you telling me this? I'm not going to Russia. You may be going to Russia no. very soon. Why? You do not know yet. We have questions for you. Oh, are you one of those crazy people? Yes. Wow. Very good. No. Well. Привет, friend. I will blame your stupidity on your lack of uh, history knowledge. Yeah, well, hey, listen, why not make it fun? Yeah. Uh, absolutely, but still, I mean, that's, I didn't know shit, less than shit about Denmark before I came here. There were so many freaking countries to learn shit about and all that. Denmark never came up. So, hmm, eh, it's another country, that's all. Hey, look, you froggies here and does here. Do you think them, they're listening? Mm -mm. They know we're tuned in? right now i don't know why do you ask me you, you're the one that makes all the decisions i hmm? ask you these questions but you don't listen to the answers sometimes i do nah I here right we go now. again See, you could have had the answer right then you had your cancer uh is that your final cancer <laughs> i was enjoying the end of my tea Oh, I got three minutes. I got a pee too. Speaking of tea, well then, you hear about the Indian? Yeah, yeah. He, like was inter being entertained by some uh, mm. out there on the plains by some uh, fine young uh, English gentlemen, mm. and uh, yeah. Well, now that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is dead, maybe, is he dead? Yeah, she, is that why they? Dead. Oh, that's why they had the flags at half staff. So now, I wondered Jimmy Carter still alive then? My dream has come true. See, oh. there's an opening, and I, I, I think, I think Trump's going to try to be cool, and he's going to appoint Stephen Tyler to the Supreme Court. Yeah, I doubt it. I really do. You don't think uh, Ted Nugent? Yeah, maybe you, Ted Nugent. You don't think Stephen Tyler could afford a seat on the SCOTUS? I think he could. I think him and Trump could make a deal, and he come up with his education in law. <laughs> that he got back in the 70s when the band was just starting out. <laughs> hey, did you know that? You don't hey, drown in your teepee. Did you know Mick Jagger has a freaking degree in economics? No, I didn't know. Yeah, this guy wasn't stupid. These people that, you know, uh, this was a huge plan. It's way bigger than anybody can imagine. And there's no way to explain it. There's so many angles and dangles. And this happened and that happened. Speaking of it, I gotta pee. Then go pee. It's how I can't. I, it's almost it's almost four twenty, and I got my things ready to post. You got two minutes. Push. You can't yeah. pee in two minutes. Wow, you you must be like a racehorse, <laughs> Mister P. <laughs> Less than one minute. Now, can you imagine Here. if I if yeah. I went to all this preparation for how many what the last mm. thirteen minutes for yeah. this? Yeah. My Lord. Well, Look at all the effort here. given into the chat here from the fine folks like Grimner. Yeah. And we've got Frogger confirmating <laughs> that he is listening. Cool. No words. Then uh, I've got a. I've got a make you pee question now. Ooh, hey, wait. and then you, I've got a can, red marker over there in the other places. Tell us. No, tell us what looking at both sides means while you got to pee. 
No. Yeah. 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 We're too close to me pushing buttons. <laughs> yeah. I kid On this you train not. rack, so fucking warm. <laughs> Come on. Right. We're counting down. Okay. Right. We're going to cut it 19. I'm saying that 19. <laughs> Do I <have> 19? <laughs> you cheat. Hey, oh, now we got to get now. Do you got to go now? Oh, there it is. Woo. P P P P P And there you can say it. Listen, I'm going to take it over. If you're not real liberty mini, you've got uh 420 it is. Yep. Why don't I just go copy that? So it's not like indiscriminatory uh, type of deal, right? We, we're not holding any indiscrimination here. I don't know, but Grimm just said, oh, it's Sandy Hoax Day. Even the FBI come out and said nobody died in that year in that town, adult or child. So zero deaths in Newton, Connecticut in the year of Sandy Hoax. I and, don't know. Uh, I I don't. My friend nah. James Freeland, yeah. he, he knows a girl that was over there yeah. and something, something, and said that there was and so of course yeah so yeah you can well, find people there. you can find people that won't take federal reserve notes in stores so mm-hmm. yeah i know a guy uh, that knows a girl that blew the cat's cat and, I, yeah. i'll be yeah, right back right. good i hope so <laughs> he's about ready to explode over there over a 420 report well i guess Vinny didn't like my idea of steven tyler on the supreme court i mean I've seen him fight with Steve Perry live on stage while they're doing a song, being an obnoxious old man, you know, overdressed with a little too much makeup. But that's Steven Tyler. I mean, crying out loud. You don't get much more honest than being a whiny old grouchy guy. Because, uh, being a whiny old grouchy guy, it's a, it's a gift. <laughs> I don't think everybody's got this particular gift. Some of us do. And it's hard to not use it. I don't know why. I think it uh, goes to my topic I was trying to get with Vinny on about, are, am, I, am I actually being extinct or am I evolving into something else? And I think the... Uh, I'm going to go with the evolution. I know I'm going to die someday. I'm not going to live forever. I'm not one of those wackadoodles. Then I'm not religious. I don't really believe in the after-freaking-life stories. I think a lot of that's very entertaining, but come on, people. I'm the one that smokes dope, and you talk like that. So, anyway. Then we've got all the rest of the the educated, politically-minded, but... One day, I was I was bored, and I like Keith Richards, so they had a new Keith Richards special, and I figured, well, Cirque's at work. She's not a big Keith fan, but I am. So I, I gave her the you know the benefit of me watching my Keith special when she wasn't around. And then I got to sit there and watch the whole thing, uninterrupted by nothing, nobody. And at the very end of the show, Keith likes to say that he's evolving. And if you look at the guy, physically, he's definitely becoming extinct. But there's something about him that uh, he hasn't lost his ability to play the guitar. And he's goddamn 70-something years old now. I was just talking about the world we're going to leave, Keith. Yeah, he's going to be like the Lord Zombie Apocalypse Commander and Master and Commander. And you know, out of all the celebrity characters that I've ever uh, paid attention to, because I'm not a follower. But Listen, I, I, I've got to break your bubble real quick. What, um, what? What? Ruth did not die. She's dead. Give me a break. No. Yeah. They've got her, like, at what? the clinic, you know, the right, fast track through the line there. Sure, I sure, sure. The, Yeah. Then but, she's yeah, done. She's out of it. Get, like rejuvenated? Uh, no, they're not going to rejuvenate that. That's, Who, that's who's over. Danny Alio? Is he a ju- was he a judge? Who? Danny Alio? Alio. Alio? Well, I can't name all I nine of them off memory. Alio. No, he wasn't no judge, right? I don't. No, yeah, Alia. I think uh, A L L I O or I A O. Some weird name like that. Spell it. 
E A no A I L E L L O. Something like that. It sounds it sounds familiar. You can Did get your computer. Did he just get made a judge? What they got these old guys? I think that's a good idea. Put the old ones on there, ready to die. Hmm. Why? Why bother with any of that? A I E L L O, Danny. Look at the decisions that SCOTUS right makes. Thing. Vincent Moonstruck. He died at eighty six. That's not why they would have. Uh, I don't think he's on the judge. I don't think he's a judge. Who cares who's a judge? Look at the fucking decisions these pricks make. <laughs> And then and then tell me that you want to be a, a follower of that bullshit. The cops have no duty to protect you. And then you go out in public and they have a fucking shootout right around you on traffic, like you're not hey, even listen, there. What if you if you drive a FedEx truck, it's on you. Okay, first of all, no, they, they did this. Uh, they took, you've got to drive really really fast. Not talking about the guy driving. I'm talking about the civilian more than anything. That wasn't involved in anything more than driving home from work. Okay, they did it in freaking traffic on an interstate in Miami. Saw it on the. I saw it with my own eyes. I lived in Miami, pal. I mean, wow. People were not like that when I was there. Stealing shit. I mean, I know it's wrong and all that crap. And sure, you you're gonna run across people that have guns, but there's better ways to end these things than what they use. You know, they can spy on all of us with the fucking internet, but they can't figure out how to use these drones and shit that they buy to keep the violence down. You know, follow the damn truck until it runs <coughs> out of gas and then swarm it. Don't have yeah. anybody in a uniform. Have everybody dress in freaking normal shit with regular yeah. handguns. Yeah, just, that's, but that no, only makes sense. But though. they... they they chase these guys through traffic instead, which is the opposite of which would work. And the, and the public's dying now. Uh, no, man, I ain't for maybe, this. Maybe somebody died in Arkansas. Why? Of course somebody died in Arkansas. That's a big business. People die every minute. I don't even know where to search of that. Who died? The, the flags was half flat, uh, half staff here, just uh, half mass. <laughs> now I got to look up, is it half mass or half staff? Because there's one's right. Who died? Who did? Yeah. Who isn't gonna? Ooh, yeah, I saw that went. Uh, that was. Brutal. It says it. It says it means the same thing. Half mass means the same thing as half staff. Well, you know, when an animal kills, I don't see that as an act of violence, even if the animal attacks. Because an animal is a lower thinking life form than a a, a living being, living man. I uh, so I, I hmm. almost decided to execute a cat that uh, would have violated them terms that you just described. Yeah, he was an evil thing. Yeah. Hey, like, I'm not sir. He would I, sneak up and attack you like. Yeah. I mean, vicious like yeah. he he only got close to me once because yeah. I about you know stumped his guts up trying to. That means. Since but the, I yeah know. since Sir had yeah. the doctor his nuts removed right he has been uh, attaching himself to me on a regular daily thing and he's got freaking claws that are, I mean, his claws are like sharp in his teeth but he's got this thing to rub his head against my hand and sometimes he tries to bite but he doesn't uh, he doesn't put any force in it the cat knows when to stop. But that just goes to show the violent um, uh, ability. Because if he didn't stop, he'd definitely draw blood. And if I pull away too fast, I'm, again, then I risk getting clawed on the way out. So I, you know, my time with animals, I've I've learned since I was a kid is don't pull away from them real quickly. They they grab. So you just got to try to stay calm. Calm the animal down and then move away slow. But, you know, some folks are just panicky. And then the accidents start happening. But there you go. So what are you I'm reading checking, now, Vinny? Uh, I'm checking uh -oh. Governor Asa Hutchison. Yeah. Uh, fla uh, flag alert notification as of uh, today, December the 14th. There are no current notifications. Or... Uh, 
I would think that I could like there would be something that would say where uh what ones were. Sign up, no. Secretary of State's website, no. Home, stupid search. I was trying to figure out why the the flags is half mast here. I don't know. You keep talking I about it though. I'm, I they're not uh, half mast here where I'm at. I'm in my living room with Sir. Wait, hey Sir. Oh, here we go. Oh, I found it. Okay. So who was it that died? No, that's then? on the it Took a long time. No. No. Here it is. Twelve no. thirteen. Yeah. Was it yesterday or was it before that? <laughs> Today's the fourteenth. Well, here's here's some. Uh, he he had him to remember in a hero. That was on the thirteenth. Was it yesterday? I don't believe so. It was before that. Here's on the night to to fly at half staff in memory of fallen Fatville police officer uh, Stephen Carr. And on the sixth, it was at half staff for. Uh, Wait, no. That's his weekly address. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's the best I got. So, who is the hero? Hey, that's funny. I just saw Dork Cakes posted, triggered the instincts. And I was reading a thing about the word triggered and how it's applied today it has nothing to do with what the people that used it for in the beginning had intended. It's been another word hijacked by a group. And and made to define their their terminology to suit their story, triggered, because people use it all the time. Oh, are you triggered? Well, that's not really what it means. But if it makes you happy, I'm triggered. This is uh, rather yeah. quite hmm. interesting here. This what, guy no. for, for uh, Asa Hutchinson. The guy looks like the talking. Joker. If you don't listen, if you don't know what he looks like, just imagine <laughs> the image of the Joker with that big old Joker smile. Uh, <clears throat> so this guy here, uh, let's see where he is. Uh, the perpetrator ambushed and killed Officer Carr as he sat in his patrol car behind the Fayetteville Police Department. What state, Vinny? Keep saying Arkansas, Fayette. where okay. I'm at. Oh, you didn't say that part. Yeah, I kept saying I wonder why they was flying flags at half staff. That's why. I've I've found it. And the cop turns out he was executed sitting in his car. I don't even know if they figured out who did it. And how far are you from there? Oh, for a piece, maybe uh uh take uh oh up you go up to Harrison and you can go across to they got a new highway which makes it go a whole lot faster. Like you could take it all the way to Tulsa 412. That uh, you can go up that way, or you could drop down and go across the Interstate 40, and then go up uh, into Fayetteville that way. But my family's from not far from there originally, over in Benton County, over in Hiawassee. Mm. Between between you know Bentonville, that's where it's close to Fayetteville in the sense, and Rogers, and you know that's all up in that part of the state, in that little corner up there. So how long do you think it'll be before the the whack doodles at home get a civil war out of the people. There's a lot of whack doodles. Uh, these uh, what do they call a boogaloo? Uh, what do the hell call them? I don't know. It, it's it's like this catchword from when that guy was all up there in his attic. Boogaloo something. Now there's people that want that. They think that's a good idea to have a civil war. Oh yeah, uh, sure. It's, Idiots. Uh, it's, no, it's you, horrible. People die. It yeah. Makes me, uh, what the, the fuck? The, those that are least able to defend themselves are the ones that uh, do the dying. Well, you know, it's too much trouble to just get mad at somebody and ask them what the fuck they're doing and sort it out than it is to lie and tell you a story that's not true. That's what I think. Oh, I guess, wait a minute. Sorry. I think I, bringing back I, dueling would be that. such an improvement in this life. I think, that the, uh, I think that the mentality around me is that same thing. If you do these certain things, you're going to be fucked over in public, so don't do these things. It's kind of like common sense. But yet, where I'm from, people are so... Uh, they're so apt to act in violence. And it's so common and cheap. Like you were saying about life being cheap now. Fuck. It's not. But you're you're using the wrong way to value life, I think. Me? First, no, not you. I'm talking to you, not about you. 
If I was talking see, about you. I, that's what, see, that's what you do to me. You said me? Oh, no, not you. You, no. the other you, you know. You I'm know. talking to you, not about I, you to somebody I, else. If I, I was going to. I just wanted to interrupt you. Yeah, but on, I think that if I was. Oh, oh, I spilled it. To be. Um, Whoops. You're not the Back. easiest fucker to get along with, but you're on. Thank you. No, but you're on. <laughs> but see, I get, I get the honest part out of it more than I care about how we get along. That's that's just roller coaster shit. It happens. Don't take it to heart. You know, happening is one thing, but living in it every fucking day is a choice. Living on the road, my friend, will keep you free and clean. That was that was a big old rip off, man. Hit. Come on. That was one hundred percent pure de plagiarism. From top to bottom. Okay. Well, just isn't it possible for two different people in two different places to have the same idea? Why does every idea have to belong to a certain person? You know, don't. What was that? See, it's all this intellectual property crap that's got us to the fucking point where we're at, where you got to legally copyright every fucking thing you make or say. It's ignorant, and we're living on credit any fucking way. But nobody wants to give up the nipple. Yeah. And now I'm married, well, so I can't really give up the nipple for my wife. I got to, you know, compromise. Boogaloo, thank you, Grimmer. But she did make me an offer. If we ever go back to the states, though, I'm I'm responsible for everything over there. And I told her sure, but she doesn't want to go, so I'm off the hook. But I know Dang. how to. But I know how to live in America. I did it for so many years. There's so much opportunity, even though if things are falling down and falling apart, and I've been away the number of years I have, there are certain things that don't change within the society. And that's the long-haired group of people that I associated with. Whoever isn't dead is going to remember and whoever died isn't going to be bothered because they're dead. Yeah. And time's running out, pal. We're, we're not gaining time. We're, we're ticking the clock away, right? So I get disappointed at people because they're so easily led by stories. Ah, you, know? you said easily. Yeah, you I say just, I don't pay attention. Uh, you <laughs> pay attention to your name, you moron. <laughs> don't be a booger in, in the nose of life. I'm been a, hair, been a hair, booger. Hair, hair, hair. A hair up my nose, my friend. Hey, I said this the other day. Do you, you realize society ridicules love and hate equally? There's virtually no separation for the way the society treats those two concepts. They're like, they treat it like part of a whole instead of two separate things. They're two individual wavelengths. You can't mix them. They don't work together at all. You can only use one at or the other. There's a choice. And you got to make it yourself. But I believe making the choice is influenced by outside forces that we're not taught to recognize. Like can we the sing? No. Hannah's barking. Like the wavelengths. And you can sing. I, I'll, just, I'll just turn the headphones off so I don't have to listen. That's not fair. Yeah, but it's honest. Cause bring bring Hannah over and put them on her. I can't I bring Hannah. Hannah over. She's outside. Tell, say, Hannah. That doesn't do anything. She's still outside barking, you bonehead. That's why no. she's outside. I don't want her inside barking. Oh, man, you know what I got right in front of me? I ain't even thought about it. I should take it off this keychain. I had this thing for like, man, 25 plus odd years, 20 Closer to thirty, man. It's, well, do uh, I guess or what? No, it's. I'm gonna tell you. It's a. Uh, it says New York on it because it came from New York, but it's like this, uh, like a fake cigarette. It's been hanging right there in front of me. Oh. I could have used that, you know, like a fake cigarette. Hey, I'm not a smoke in here. Look, but no, nah, let me hang it back up. One week. One week. Weekend. It's yeah. annoying. It's annoying now. The little like want to smoke. It's like, come on, stop. 
already. Right. Well, you know what the problem could be? What? There's too much everything. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Too much. I don't appreciate the little things, right? Well, I do. Oh, I mean, uh, no, I appreciate the little things. It's the big things that just, eh, they're, that's life. But the little things are extra. You got to like, oh, see, like, like when I do radio and, and my wife gets me a hot tea or a coffee mm-hmm. or something, she doesn't have to do that. I don't ask her to do that because I'm doing the radio. She might be doing something. I'm going to interrupt her while I'm on the radio to go do something, but she doesn't. So those are the you little. You sing. No. You sing her a song. No, but th- that's just the, what, you know, the rewards you to, of being nice. Give me a nice title. Give what? me a title of a song that you would like think of right now about you and Circle. Um, a title of a song. Yeah, something that would be like inspirational. No. <clears throat> like if you was like at a karaoke machine and stuff and you was just going to like well, I wouldn't declare do that, no. your love. No, huh? I, I wouldn't do all well, that. Well, let's pretend that you are that person that would. But I'm not. So we I, we did, did the... the we, for the mind. All right, so we're going to put you in some heels and we're going to lift you up a little bit higher. No, 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 say, no, no. I like Make my you say like five foot seven. No, you'd no, be like a no. giant. I don't okay. want, yeah, no, stop! You're punishing me. <laughs> good God, I get all the good air down here, where, where you know, because all that heavy chemical shit rises, and down here is where all the breathable air is at. <laughs> Would you think that there, as cooked. far as this, been, you know, as it dispenses, as it rises, mm. so at, at a shorter level, would you say that? Farts would maybe be stronger than that scent of a taller person. Scent? What do you? Yeah. What do you fucking live on? It's people that don't bathe. You can smell each other from. Wow. I said fart. Fart. Yeah, because you're like closer to the. Yeah. You know, Am level. I? Yeah. Well, the whole stink. You're talking about these chemicals that float up. Yeah. Well, everything floats up. Right. Oh, well, I don't know. I spend most of my time does, around people, I guess, that don't seem to fart because I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. What is you can that? hear it, but I but smell, that takes, that's some never, garlic or, I don't never know. Never waste a fart. Never See, waste you're one fart. of those. Uh, you're a, <laughs> you, you are a very ill person I got, sometimes. I got a fart button. I see that. <laughs> you see, this is what I mean. Push There's it. too much it's everything. Everything. So does love, everything, does everything. Love, love lift you. Would you sing? Love lifted me. <laughs> no. <laughs> good, good try, Vincent. What about uh, right. do farts make do, do farts make you duck? Hey, I got a I got a Vinny gift from uh, from Dork K. <laughs> Vinny, 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 Vinny. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> Hand. No. It's always funny. No, I could do that with my hands. And it, oh, it's fun to know. watch other people try it because they, they don't know the, the secret to make it work. I bet you squirt water in a swimming pool with those hands, don't you? Yeah. That's why I spent my time in the pool when I was young. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I was a squirter and... And yeah, I knocked people in the water. I was real he reckless. Squirted. He yeah. squirted in the water. Oh yeah, with my hands, you bonehead. Flash, <laughs> you Bud ain't no penis here, pool. We don't need urine. Neither. Urine, get it? Urine. That's a yeah. You say urine. That's like a oh. Uh, uh, like maybe a Missouri See, and, and there it goes. Yours. And urine the, is yours. And there's where it goes. It's all to your training and your indoctrination. Okay. I was on a swim team. I'm telling you, everybody was always conscious about what everybody else did, not themselves. Bunch of freaking uh, peacock fucking posers that could swim real good. And very critical. And, man, you pee in the fucking pool. We'll fuck you up, pal. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so there you go. There's you know, there's rules that we live by and then there's this other world that I lived in where people just made it clear to you in so many words in the beginning before you started, this is what you're allowed to do, 
And then if this is what you're not allowed to do. So it made it real simple to grow up and understand how simple it is to just get along in society. It's not difficult. It's very simple. It's not the society I, that I don't get along with. It's the the shit behind all the society. And and how easily people are just grouped up. Easily. Yeah, but we're, we're all grouped up in little groups to fight imaginary demons that aren't real. While we pay these fucking extortions and drink their Cokes and smoke their cigarettes and all the crap that's bad for us, we still do some of it, but there's such an array of bad out there to choose from that you don't know is bad for you that you're going to get fucked physically no matter what you do. And unless you're lucky enough to find out what the remedies are while well, they're available now, 10 years from now, if the internet gets taken over, nobody will know anything except what the state wants them to know, just like it used to be. And now we've sure. got, but right now we've got this illusion of freedom. Okay. But there's so much freaking uh, support to continue what we're doing instead of abandoning it, abandoning it because banning seems scary and frightening. What would we do? If you left it up to small community, you kept your communities to certain amounts of people, we wouldn't have the, any of these problems. It'd be a lot better world. So, yeah, it's not a matter of population control. It's a matter of the government's control on the fucking ground that we live on. And what gives them the right in the first place? To do this is our collective, okay, where do you want me to bend over? How, how deep are you putting it in this time? And we do this shit over and over because living on top of that mountain is going to be fucking lonely. So there's your alternative, right? I like it here. Oh, I'm sick. Yeah, but you're, you're not, no, you're, you're living in electricity and computer, you know, not... Not living rough outside with, you know, fighting a bear right, for a right. rabbit. Yeah, I'm not far from that, though. And could do it. There, flip okay, switch. there's, a, a, right. A flip this switch yeah, you're right on off. Okay, you're capable where I'm at this age in life, I'm not capable to do that. If that would come to that, I'd, nah. Because I tried the killing thing with animals when I was younger and, and uh, I was worried more that I was going to start liking it and then try to work my way up. So I just took the, nah, I don't want to do this anymore thing and let it go at that. Instead of pursuing it, because I tend to be an overachiever when I want to do something. And I just thought killing, let's just take that off the list. You know? And it came up early enough in life where I thought at the time I was making a good decision. <laughs> Took a lot of bad jokes, you know. I'm such a pussy because I won't hunt. What so are you going to eat? No, well, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. But you like go down and buy like a a slice of uh, duck breast or something like that for dinner and back and forth to the store. Oh yeah, to the store and whatnot. But I'm I'm not in a situation where I'm I'm forced. Okay, that if I want to eat meat of whatever kind, I got to kill it and do it all myself. I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm at that level anymore. I was once when I was young, but now it's like, nah, I'll pay somebody to do it. So, you know, when when a when a Jew starts talking about paying somebody to do something, there is a there's a separation there. Because we're the ones that want to make money off everything you do, not us. We don't want to do shit. So, hmm. but killing ain't one of the things. That's one of the things we're good at. I always play the victim. I'm on the winning side of man, the Jews win this war. I hope they take me. <laughs> my nose and my wiener show them what they want to know. <laughs> uh oh, my wife's banging the table over there. <laughs> Got her all you, know, you know that Cirque's not Jew. You know, I I don't think I'm Jewish either. But the, the paperwork and the, you know, the relatives and all that said I was. Huh. But I don't believe it. 
I think it's just as ridiculous as Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or the moon landing. Hey, hmm. you should get uh, Cirque to lift the back of your hair and look on the back of your neck. See if and I got a... tattoos. No. No tattoos? No. Not on the back okay. of my neck. Are you crazy? <clears throat> I've never been that drunk. <laughs> To think that getting a tattoo on the back of my neck was a good idea, because I never did it. So, but I'd have you got to have a lot of trust, right? Especially like if it's in a different language. Uh, Yeah, no, it doesn't. You've got to have a lot of trust. I my (laughs) first two, I have had three different (laughs) artists work on my ink. I got three different things, and one of them is one. It was two parts of, of. of an artwork that I had added to. So I had a picture done by one guy and then I had the background to the picture done by a different artist. So it's two guys on one picture because it all looks like one, but it's two. And then uh, when I had Cirque's name, I had had it put on my wrist. So uh, we got inked way before we got married. And neither one of us had anybody else's name inked on each other so we thought wow that's pretty weird to want to do it now because <laughs> I never wanted to do it before you know? hmm. I would have never have agreed to it if I'd have been asked nobody ever asked me it never came up I don't even know how it came up to this day but we did what we did me and Cirque and we're, we're coming up on six years so hmm. pretty amazing huh it, as hard as fuck as, as hard as I am to get along with yeah fuck yeah because <laughs> I'm not easy to get along with. You big baby. Well, I don't know. It's See, I'm more honest with people I'm close to than people. I don't give a shit about you, then I don't really care. But people I'm really close to, when I talk to them verbally, and, you know, here we are talking, yeah, it's a different uh, it's a different vibration to the what's going on than somebody else typing on a screen. Eh, that's just bullshit. Yeah, it's just fun bullshit, but it, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere. Talking for some reason changes my uh, the way I take it in changes dramatically. Don't know why, but I'm not I'm not one to worry about losing my fucking temper with you. Lose my temper, so what? So what? Does your mother so? Get see, her yeah. That. See, because you're talking to me all wrong here. Yeah. First of all. <laughs> That's it. But your gift is, is to not be uh, attached to the words that you hear. I think. Because you react way different to the uh, Bundy's trial than you do to people talking to you. Yeah? How so? Because you are physically involved in this fucking life-changing goddamn situation in, in, uh, in uh, Nevada. <laughs> That's why. And other people haven't caught 20 years... I'm telling you, later down the road, not right now, but someday, this is going to be huge. And when it does become huge, you're, you know, you had a big play in it. That's a lot to, well, that's small. it's a lot of, okay, but small. out of the two of us, you've had a lot to do with it. And I had nothing, nothing. I didn't even see it when it was going on. I, I couldn't tell it's, you. I think I was the time. As the time presented itself and no, in the kidding. capacity is that the capacity that I was in, I was called to and yeah. obligated to, yeah. to go and uh, stand in witness. And that was 14, right? In yeah. the summertime? Uh, spring. Okay. It was when I was, <clears throat> I was doing all this running around, getting my uh, passport and all my ID together. Cause I gave up um, carrying ID in North Carolina. I wouldn't get it uh, renewed. And my passport had expired. So to travel again, I had to, God, I had to get everything, birth certificate, social security card, and you name it, these motherfuckers make you go dig it up, right? Instead of just doing it yourself, which would be way easier for everybody, just bill you for the fucking shit. <laughs> but they, you know, the government is so, uh, it operates so inefficiently on purpose so that nothing can ever be done quickly, because that ex, you know that it, it justifies all the traveling and well, it needs to be reviewed by our panel of experts and all this other shit they tell you, and half these fucking idiots vote on shit without reading what they're voting. 
because they get paid to vote. It's where all their money comes from that they get while they're sitting in fucking Congress. <laughs> Half of Congress are millionaires. Nobody goes into Congress a millionaire, but the ones that are there, they got there broke. Now they're millionaires. How did that happen? Well, it do happen. How? Define that it's, one. Yeah, it's cronyism and. Well, yeah, uh, like well, Nancy. Once you rotate, once you rotate out of there, you 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 get some nice cushy book deals, speaking engagements, and then roll in perhaps to a, a nice uh, advisory position to Monsanto or one of the other big O. Uh, yeah, all these groups that are too big to prosecute because who has the money to go against them? See? You don't. So I, there you they, go. They, they, they demonstrate the. Uh, their superiority in the courtrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got six years, six years later, almost to the month. Well, yeah, I mean, it started a little long. So uh, in March 2020, here's the state back there still objecting mm -hmm. and wanting to persecute and prosecute the Bundys, right? They're saying it's not fair that that mean old judge dismissed with prejudice the charges that we was uh flagrantly and and unlawfully and ah everything that is all about this uh terribleness of the occupation these people that sit in in places of power seats of decision hmm. yeah you know, let, let Dan Lund, guy <clears throat> that headed it up he <clears throat> excuse me he'd be bragged about having people commit suicide then they have a kill list right hmm. they've got uh yeah, they got targets with the uh, like Bundy heads on it and uh, others, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just good fun, <laughs> right? <clears throat> let's shoot the one. Let's shoot that. Let's shoot that sob's dog first. You know, I think uh, it was a uh, kind of about the words one uh, one of them agents used back there. Said, "Look at that that fat woman over there. She'll be fun to shoot and stuff like that." That one's got a bad knee. Let's take his other knee out. Watch him. Now, these ain't the words they're saying. But this probably stuff that's going right through their mind. You know, and I take that from the words that they actually did say. I got a video of it over here on Real Liberty Media. I know, yeah, go check it out. It's in the uh, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Bunny Ranch playlist. I, I can go find that. Probably going to run out of time before I do, though. Probably. Unless you want to edit out the argument bit and just redo some, do something else. I'm not going to. Then we'll yeah. kill the show then. No, we got two hours, no. a few minutes. All right. I don't know how much time of that took. I figure about 15 minutes because when I, I stopped talking about 19 after. I think. We can run over for that matter. Uh, I don't care. Well, I'll, I'll follow you. You close the show when you're tired of doing the show. Uh, but the, the thing I got mad about, Vince, is you're just going into some detail about the topic that I had decided to name the show for. And what I had named the show and what you were just talking about. Law doesn't prevent anything. It punishes everyone. And you were getting to the area where how law punishes people that didn't do anything. Didn't do anything wrong. But they represent the case as though they've broken a law, then they get these activists behind them that don't know their ass from their fucking elbow to protect a, uh, an animal that, that needs the cow to survive in the first place. And they distract with, you know, bullshit and prevent anybody from ever understanding that the guy did the right thing for the animals. So take that off the table. Okay. But they don't, they dwell on lies. And then when that doesn't work, they just drag it out in court. So as the time goes on, less and less people want to be bothered because it takes time and, and attention to pay attention. Here it is. There you go. So that's what, this is, hey, uh, that's what I lost my temper over, I think, is I wanted you to talk about that. Go ahead. Yeah, you know how I am. I just yeah, ramble we'll, and roll. Yeah, well, I would like follow off on one thing. and Okay, but... Uh, how how does it prevent anything? It doesn't. We've already understood that part of it. But the part that's not understood by General Joe out there is that law punishes everybody that's involved in it somehow or another. Even if you win, you fucking lose. You just can't see it because your life revolves around a few dollars. 
Well, listen, I'm going to tell you what things I've seen because I've looked beyond just the Bundy case, but mm-hmm. where there's people that are in the same uh, forum, I guess, you know, uh, Bruce Doucette, uh, Rick Quaver, they they took over a decade and I think three or four shots before they could finally take him down. Wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's uh there's the did a shoot to kill and cover up. That's what I thought. Ty- yeah. Did a yeah. shoot to kill and cover yeah. up policy, set the stage for the Bundy Ranch standoff. And see, and it was a feds. You'd think that the the Patriots, the Cowboys, and all those folks that come out there yeah. and stand in the gap. So common. Were the though, ones with a standoff. No, see, listen. Gillespie said that they had they done it was over with. They done left, and it's like, well, uh. I guess reckon we better go set them cows loose, right, and turn them loose when they get back down there in their graze and get some water because they'd rounded them up real hard, and they, they got uncovered a mass grave of cattle that they uh, executed that the bulls. They said, oh, that bull is being mean. Well, the, the, that was the cover-up. It was, it was a shoot to kill. And not only the cattle, but the people. They had fully intended the massacre. Uh guarantee you. That's some evil people. Dan Love, yeah. And then Myrie, see, he was there. Him and uh, uh, what's her name? Nadia Ahmed, yes, uh, were there during the preparation to make uh, hmm. charges come. Let's let's go in here. We're going to manipulate all this and try to... That, that's how they do They go in there and try to make and push people in to doing something. So they were there expecting the Bundys to, at that point, take up uh, maybe and and come in there riding with the with your hip guns on and maybe long guns and shooting and rooting and tooting and all that sort of thing. But they didn't count on all the people that uh, that came and stood in the gap uh, and prevented that, or it would have went the same way that uh, we've seen other uh, things happen with. Uh, those people down there in Waco or Ruby Ridge is often referred to. Well, how how long how the example? How much longer do you think it's going to take the state to breed gun loving out of the the, uh, the majority of the population? Not, it's not not long, all of but it. See, what mm-hmm. happens is is you get the force like from the uh, the there's a concentration of people with certain ideas say in a city, and then if you contrast that with uh, uh, with folks out in the country. Uh, there's a big difference. But then when you get the numbers up, you yeah. get people into government schools and they get fed all that same old garbage, right? From their actual feed in the cafeteria to that in the, uh, in their daily lessons. So, you know, they, they got to mix a lot of good sounding stuff up in there to get everybody to uh, follow along with it. And if you resist, then you're rid- ridiculed and there's other methods. Well, that, uh, but how can it not be obvious to average Joe that the, the law is has been explained to us in one way, but it's enacted in a completely different fucking way than the way they tell you? How, I think I can sum it up as yeah. fish sticks. Fish sticks. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't get it, Vinny. <laughs> hey, listen, do you really uh, know what's inside a fish stick? <laughs> oh, okay. No, but it's I know like what Joe Dirt. Dirt. You know, his dad. Do you really know how? Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, I forget. A du- yeah, positive track rear end works, or dual exhaust. I don't know what he's talking about. But listen, clowns, man. That's the thing, clowns. Clowns. Are you yes. a clown, sir? Short clowns. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you make me laugh sometimes. Sometimes you just piss me off, though. You're so flaky. You're like a, like a piece of fish stick flaky stuff fish stick <laughs> like a fish stick yeah flaky fish yes uh, fish stick. well what are we gonna do with you <laughs> wow well i ain't no telling so how do you think that the uh the winners are punished with this by having to eat fish sticks yeah, the well, same way the same way they're rewarded because the people that are doing it can't be ignorant enough to not Follow the information to see what they're prosecuting before they try to prosecute it. So it's as though it doesn't matter what you say in response to the charge. You're wrong no matter what you say. 
Very sad, yeah. But and, right, and see, they're all used to it now. The courts, they're all like parading in there. It's almost like uh, when you're so used to saying something so many times, you already automatically assume that somebody who knows what it is you're saying and just don't do it, right? <laughs> yeah, like like this Ryan English in the courtroom just flitters on in there and just like, oh, this he, he's going to say this and about that and that. Well, to tell you the truth, like <laughs> he's a nutter. Wow. Okay, how do you know that he is? I was there. I see okay, it. so you know, Personally, but do you know the guy? Hand, yes. Oh man, I was dreaming about that. I just now remember I was huh. dreaming about that last night. Yeah. Up in the courtroom, that's Robert Shapiro, up there in Denver. Yeah. You know he threatened me, stomped his feet in the courtroom, spun around and stared me down. And here's these two. Big, I mean, huge deputies because they were there. If old Bruce Doucette thought he'd throw up a little protest, they'd just squash his face, bruise him, mm. like hands all over him and stuff. Really yeah, serious about it, sort of thing. It just shows me that the absolute corruption that he is so flagrant yeah. to do what he did yeah. in a courtroom before a judge, before deputies of the sheriff's department before the jury threatening me not to mention what he did outside yeah. there I, i'm harassing them this and what i saw in the bundy court yeah. what happened uh hey, other people there there's a long list and listen when you make a wrong move they're gonna, you know, you'll get gunned down. Well, how do you think these After. winners get punished in this? Because it it appears as though they're they're fighting a good cause to the yeah. to the people and that they, are un wait to the people that are ill informed or uninformed that don't really understand what's going on. They just read headlines. They're gonna the, those eight, you know the the apathetic ones, the ones that don't give a shit. They're expecting them to make a decision and vote on something. And I'm pissed off because these people that they're they're counting on to, to vote on shit aren't qualified to vote in any area of voting. It's like what is wrong with you guys? Do you really I want to well, wait, I want then, to get this mental image into what, your mind. What? This is important. Hmm. All of that. You know, the voting, whatnot. There's, yeah, there's different yeah. aspects of considering that. But I want you to get this mental image. And I'll have to go retrieve a picture of him because he ducked out when I tried to take this Robert Shapiro in Denver prosecution. You know, you're in a chair, the swivel chairs that, uh, you know, roll around. I want you to imagine him right there. And that judge saying, if anybody in press tries to harass you, you just let me know. It's like, why not I ain't arrest nobody? I've been pretty cooperative through this thing. It's like, hey, uh, I tell the uh, the FBI and, uh, and the, the prosecutor guy, I, hey, you guys got a room maybe we can go into to do our uh, uh, live streaming so that we're not having an influence on the, the jury because we wasn't even supposed to talk to him. And one guy comes up and he goes, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and I, I look kind of like, what? He goes, I'm a jury. And he was wanting into the soda machine or something. But we're talking over. Yeah. So I mean, and they use their position of power. That's that's the evil evilness of the system that they can take their position and use it as they do for their own purpose and not for right and justice. What's good, good and right. Well, okay. Well, that's why it has to be ended, and it will never change. It will only get tighter. People That's are trying to end it and change it, and what the they're, they're getting they're getting ground up. They're getting uh, in put in prison, many for life, mm. others lives yeah. their lives taken because they're not. I mean, I don't know. There's desperation for what are you supposed to do type of deal, but um, there's also things that, or obviously, you shouldn't put yourself into that that point of position where that can capture you in jurisdiction. You know, you, you're not going to want to go. Filing, I don't think, uh, uh, hmm. like, uh, 
thinking that you're going to win to get them in court. And that's what the Bundys had wanted, you know, wow. from the beginning. They wanted this to come to court. But the fact of the matter is it doesn't come to the court to uh, stand for truth. It's used, the system's in use with all these superseding indictments, charge upon charge upon charge stacked upon these people for uh, for let's say is this a single event here that we are saying we want to protest you coming in here and doing as you will governing at gunpoint and then they give people an offer doing six or eight years in prison versus rest their life you know if you if you'll go ahead and take a plea that's why they got something to 98 percent conviction right uh, well, if you're going to put your hands in the in the in the loving care of somebody that has the ability to sentence you to prison, well, <laughs> no, you're being held hostage against your fucking will. And whether you did the crime or not, I'm not not even got that far in it yet. It's just the uh, the way that we've all been conditioned. To accept this violent, freaking authoritarian behavior from an entity that is, it's a fraud and it's a fucking fiction. And, wow. But we make it real by following along with it. There's not any resistance to the real problem. <laughs> and all well, these, there I say, yeah. there I say resist. resist. How? And you resist. You're doing a resistance by talking on the radio. Well, That's resistance. yeah, but yeah, I have anything. such a, I have a very few people that agree with me. That's what part of was I was saying earlier is these two kids I meet in the damn street over a T-shirt have more in common with me than some of the people I know from home. People I'm related to have less in common with me, with me than these two strangers. You know what Lonnie Clark says? No. Happiness is resistance. Oh yeah, Brand definitely. New, right here, brand I, new wind. See, I just don't want to. Yeah, I just don't want to pick a side in all that. Thing. So I, I don't disagree Being with happy. Her. No, no, yeah, Being, I don't. No, in in the political thing, the, I, liberal oh, or the. Yeah, you know what? See, what I really didn't get to to bring into that aspect of the difference. See, right. it's where the difference really doesn't matter in in this issue that she brings to to forbear on uh, the nuclear industry and all, yeah. all the little extra uh, entailments f from the military industrial complex and, and so forth into, you know, the energy department and all the, uh, eh, where it all comes together. So that that's a great imp important subject. I think that uh, needs to be, uh, well, everybody, people, regardless. there are so many people that support this crap or whatever their political, idiotic, damn patriotic reasons are, they're all based on bullshit. None of these fucking wars had anything to do with what you think they had to do with. And we got That's lied right. to all the whole fucking time about all of it, some way or another. So who cares what the truth is? The whole thing is we're being controlled with our own consent by people that are openly fucking lying to us openly poisoning everything they do is right to your fucking face but if you behave like they behave they'll put you in a cell <laughs> it's like wait a minute you can shoot this guy for because you he got in your fucking way but i can't why not well because, because they've got the consent of the moron that supports government i say more off sir <laughs> hey, let's uh, oh, man. let's yeah. uh, let's let's take and get the scissors out and cut this one off. Okay, man. thanks Here's a lot, man. Hey, it's always fun to yeah. fight with you, but this time you pushed me too far, not paying attention. Listen, I will what? trip you, I will push you, yeah. I'll pull your hair, I'll poke yeah, you, so, uh, I'll search your thing. Yeah, and then I call you a sissy when you squeal. Yeah, then I'll just get over it and start <laughs> over again. <laughs> well, it's not, it's it's harder it's harder to do than it sounds maybe but I don't know I just do it I don't give a shit what what the uh, having a huge ego in life is stupid because you're the only one that has it everybody else they don't know what you think they don't know what the other guy thinks till you ask them so when you say something stupid like I support Trump what what does that even fucking mean 
Have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah, we got radio every day of the week right here at Real Ooh. Liberty Media. Yeah. And somebody, and remember, someone's watching you, and I'm doing that. In oh Cuba. yeah, do a Christmas, <laughs> do a Christmas for uh, for Grim. Hey, if you got some extra Christmas dough for the radio people that uh, make you laugh and cry during the, the time you listen to it, send Grimner some dough. Grimner is not shy. He will use it to continue his good work at reallibertymedia.com. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Okay. We done? Uh-huh. Uh, bye, everybody.